Hi Taurus, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your current energy reading. So we're gonna jump right in. Hopefully everybody's doing okay. This is a general reading, guys. So if you do like the readings I do for you on this channel and you do want a personal reading, I do offer personal reading services. Services. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be the first link in the description box for you, okay? Hopefully everybody had a great holiday. If you do celebrate Thanksgiving, Okay, or if you celebrated with your family, hopefully that was good for everybody. All right, so we're going to jump right in. Let's see what's going on with my Tauruses. Give me some current energy cards, anything that needs to come out for my Tauruses. Moving forward, the rest of November, beginning of December. All right, so you guys have the snake here. All right, so there is a very sneaky energy going on. It could be with you. You could be coming off very odd to certain people, especially if you're a feminine um, Taurus. Um, if you are a masculine Taurus, there's a feminine here that you're starting not to trust for some reason. Okay, we're going to see why. But yeah, Taurus, you could be coming off very sneaky or you're dealing with someone very sneaky. Um, even if you're not trying to be sneaky or if you literally are not being sneaky, something about the way that you move, the way that you've been moving lately has been very odd for people around you. Or like I said, this could be a feminine in your life. This could be a friend of some of you guys. It may not even be you, Taurus. Even if you are feminine, it could be another feminine in your life, okay? Where this person's starting to move a little weird. And I feel like um, you're starting to feel like, can I even trust this person anymore? It's very weird how this person's moving. Yeah, look, we have the fox on the bottom of the deck. Let me fix my camera. There we go. So you have the fox on the bottom, which kind of confirms that someone's moving very weird, shady, you know? Very shady individual here. I just seen a child card. If you have a child, you may notice that your child could be moving a little weird. Was that in your reading? No, that wasn't in your reading. I think that was in Aquarius's reading. It was like, watch your child or something because someone's child is like being sneaky. Okay, but that's what children do. So it's like not a big deal, but um, yeah. Could be something, could be something dealing with the house. We have the house on the bottom. Okay, or who someone brings over to their house. I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. I'll clarify that in a second. Let's see what else comes out for you. Well, let's clarify it now, right? What's the snake card? What's the snake card, please? What's the snake card? All right. Okay, so we have a tower here. So there is something that you're not seeing, okay, when it comes to someone. Um, it could be hidden very well. Tower is like having different levels here. You could be on a different... You could be also like... Um, like spirit could be distancing you from someone that's no longer on your level. So, you know, like... That's, that could be a little shady to even say that. But, you know, sometimes people are, like, literally not on your level and, and they can hold you back or you have to leave certain people behind. There also could be, like, evil eye energy going on around you or envy, jealousy with someone in particular based off of where your work position is or, you know, the type of home that you have. Maybe you have a bigger home than this friend, okay? Because um, the house card did come out. Maybe you have a nicer car. Maybe they just feel like you're doing better. Um, even if that's true or not. And there is someone here that could be jealous of what level you are in in life and what you have achieved. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. Weird energy too. Like I'm telling you, it's a feminine energy around you. So with the bed being here, the bouquet in the, in the four leaf clover that I'm looking at, it's almost like maybe you're dating someone new, Taurus, or you're like, you know, you could have opened up to this friend about your sexual <laughs> sexual escapades. You could be like, okay, say like you're, you know, talking with your friend and you're like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm dating this new person. It's been going strong for two months so far. And oh my God, we have the best sex of our lives, the bed card. Plus with the bouquet, oh my God, this person is so sweet to me. They're always doing really nice gestures for me, always buying me flowers. Always, you know, taking me out to eat, bringing me lunch, you know, and the four leaf clover. I really lucked up with this person. Um, this is also the six of diamonds, which is six of pentacles energy. So you have someone very generous in your life. And if you don't have this yet, this is predicting this for you. Okay. So you have a very generous lover in your life or coming into your life. There will be a friend that's going to be very jealous, like very sneaky. 
Now, if you're a masculine Taurus and you're dating a feminine and she's starting to act very sneaky, she could be looking for someone who could fund her life a little bit better than what you're offering. Not saying that you wouldn't be able to, okay? Most Tauruses are very stable energies, but this could be a gold digger energy, okay? All right, let's keep going. Very interesting. All right, so let's see what else, what else? That's not a kind of female you want in your life anyway. I mean, you, you know, the, it's to each his own, right? Like some people are interested in those mutually beneficial relationships. But if you have a feminine or a masculine who's always, you know, looking for more from like, you know, would leave you at any moment to go find a person who's going to fund them better. That is shady. You know, that's the snake. not passing any judgment i'm just saying you know it's like that's not a very stable connection if someone could be up and willing to leave at any moment because of money all right let's keep going more 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 messages for my tauruses more messages for my tauruses oops okay we got two here um again some of you guys are going to get really lucky and meet someone who is the sweetest, most kindest, most generous soul. And it's something that maybe you haven't had in a long time. Maybe you're this type of person, okay, Taurus? Also, if you're a masculine Taurus and you were dealing with an ex or a past person or someone who will soon to be your ex or past person because you're starting to see their shady ways, you do have a new feminine coming in who is very appreciative um, and you're going to feel very lucked up about this person. It's kind of like one of those situations where it's like, you know, someone could have been really ungrateful for the things that you were giving to them. And then you meet someone who is so grateful for the little things you do. And then you end up giving that person way more, you know, because of their gratitude. Um, and feminine, you have some really like charming masculine here. He likes to dote on you. He likes to do really nice things. Very sweet, very generous. Anything that you need, you're going to feel very lucky, but you do have a a, a feminine here this could be a sibling this could be a family member um you know this could also be a friend that will be a little like jealous you know not like should be happy for you but they can't get out of their own ego of they deserve that they should have found someone like that first okay so just know that it's very weird also with the um this is like the garden the garden talks about having many suitors. So you can have many people coming into your life like this and it seems like you just lucked up and someone is not going to be happy for you, unfortunately. All right, let's see what else is coming out. Um, Yeah, some of you guys have a very stable relationship coming in. Hold on, sorry, I have the burp. Too much coffee, excuse me. Sorry about that. Okay, you have the anchor here, which is a very solid, stable relationship coming towards you, long-term relationship coming towards you. This is also stability in your life, okay? Whether you're looking for love or not, maybe you're just more interested in work and money, finances, very stable life ahead of you um, moving into December and, and into the new year. So very nice, right? Um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like someone is just not happy for you, but this is like really good. This, this deserves a lot of praise or congratulations. Okay. We also have the bed again. So I have to say to whoever this person is, um, definitely a very sexual person, like sex will be heightened in the relationship between you two. Sex could be really good between you and this person. And it seems like you can trust that sexual relationship because it is going places like a stable relationship. Okay. Clarify the anchor. Okay, we have the clouds here. Yeah, so this for a while, your love life or your finances or stability wise, you weren't doing the best. We have the cross on the bottom of the deck, which talks about salvation. Cross talks about hard times in your life, but keep in faith that things will change. Okay, so... With the clouds being here is definitely an energy of, you know, things are blowing over now and things are starting to look up for you. And, you know, it wasn't easy and your life was not always like super blessed like this where you're just, you know, meeting this great person or that your finances are intact. You know, it like it took a while. You went through some shit, right? So this person who's a little jealous of it, it's like they're disregarding all the hardships that you've been through. This person needs to like get a grip, right?
Also, this person who could be coming into your life, Taurus, they could be a big smoker, um, like weed, hookah, cigar, or even um, tobacco, like cigarettes. Um, but yeah, someone definitely is a big smoker here. They also could have like gray eyes or like, um, um, what is it called? Like salt and pepper hair for those of you who are interested in an older person. All right, one more card with this and then I'm going to go into the other oracle. All right, look at this. This is crazy. Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. But here's my number. So call me, maybe. <laughs> okay, period. Okay, so this could be how you're going to meet this person. Very, like, by chance. You know? Oh, you know, damn, I wasn't expecting to meet anybody today. And I gave that person my number. I didn't even expect them to call. I didn't even remember that they had my number. But they called me, and it was like, oh, shit, this is going to be a love of a lifetime. You have the heart here, which is definitely like King of Cups, Queen of Cups energy. So this person, you know, I'm getting strong masculine energy. So if you're masculine, definitely going to be falling for this new lover, this this woman um, that is very grateful for anything that you do. You know, you could take this this woman to a fast food restaurant and y'all just pick out at the drive through and they're very grateful for the time that you guys are spending together in the food and it's gonna make you want to do more versus that female or feminine who would only go out with you if you were taking them to four star five star restaurants you understand um if this is a mass i'm sorry if this is a masculine coming towards my feminine tauruses this person is gonna fall in love with you you know maybe before you even um realize that you're falling in love with them. So it's a very fast moving energy and very loving person coming towards you. Very um, very generous lover as well, okay? Let's see, clarify the heart and then we're gonna move on to the next. Um, yeah, very loyal lover. We have the dog here, very loyal, very protective of you, okay? Um, I believe too, this is the 10 of um, cups or yeah, 10 of hearts, which is a 10 of cups. So very family oriented person, very protective of their family and their lover, very loyal. Okay. Someone who wants, um, longevity with you will, will follow you or lead you to the very end. Very positive person coming towards you. Very protective person coming towards you. I have to keep saying that. I don't know why that's coming out. So I don't know why that's coming out that, hmm. It may come out in the other cards because there's this energy of someone who wants to protect you. So I don't know what they're trying to protect you from. I don't know if it's an ex. I don't know if it's your ex. Okay, I don't freaking know. So we're going to have to figure it out. All right, so let's do the next oracle and then we're going to do tarot to end it. Sorry, guys. One second, if you may. Okay. All right, all right. So let's see. All right, some more messages for my Tauruses moving forward, current energy and all. I need to write down a title for you. Oh, yes. Okay, perfect. All right, so let's see. More messages for my Tauruses, please. More messages for my Tauruses moving forward anything that they should be aware of moving forward anything significant okay we have misfortune here what else why misfortune why misfortune oh okay frivolity which is good all right so hmm there's definitely something coming up for you. I'm going to pull some tarot on this really quickly. There's definitely something coming up for you that's going to cause quite... It's, it's, it's meant to throw you off your game, kind of like tower energy where, you know, something... Okay, so say this could be like um unexpected expense. Like say your car broke down and it's like, damn, I didn't expect that to happen. And, you know, I was trying to keep my money in my savings account now I'm starting from scratch again. It kind of stresses me out, you know? But with the frivolity, it's a very carefree energy where it's like, I don't know, for some reason you are, and I know it's not for some reason. On the bottom deck, you have scholar. So you're very well-learned, well-practiced in this kind of 
test that the spirit throws at you, you've been there, done that. You've been through worse in your life and you're very, you have a lot of gratitude, okay? And I think that's why you're going to get so lucky in love and in your stability moving forward because of gratitude. So if you haven't been practicing it as much, this is your sign to make sure that you are thanking your maker um, or speaking to your spirit guides and talking to the universe, talking about how grateful you are for everything that you do have, okay? But yeah, there is something here meant to take you up your game that's going to happen. It's like an un unfortunate series of events or event, okay? But with the frivolity, it looks like you're not going to you're not going to sweat. Like you're not going to let it like it's like whatever. It's like, okay, like this is not my first rodeo with this, so I'll be fine. Let's see what's going to happen. Give me some more energy with that, right? All right, so let's see. What's the misfortune card for my Tauruses? What's the misfortune card for my Tauruses? What's the misfortune card for my Tauruses, please? Give me some cards. What's going to happen here that's going to try to throw them off of their game? What's going to happen? All right, the world card could be um, with travel. So if you have a trip that's booked, it may get canceled or something may happen where you're not going to be able to go. Something with traveling could happen, you know? I don't know. This could also be about like um, a raise or a promotion that you want, like something at work. Maybe your your boss is gonna say, hey, I really wanna give you this promotion. Or I really wanna give you this raise, but I can't, I wouldn't be able to because maybe you were tardy this many days or maybe you took off too much time, you know, in the summer. And yeah, so unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to give it to you this time. And normally that would like stress you out or make you kind of pissed off, but you're like, you know, it is what it is. I don't care. <laughs> what else? Clarify the world. Yeah, judgment. It's something that has to do with, um, it's something, okay, so say it is like, it's a level up thing where you're going to be, you're supposed to be getting a raise. This could be what work. You're supposed to be getting a raise, a promotion. You're ready to switch departments. You're ready to switch locations. Maybe you want to, um, you know, transfer to another location. It seems like it may get denied. Okay. Um, but you're not stressed out about it. Like for some reason, I don't think it's not for some reason, literally with a scholar, you're, you're just so much more wiser that it's like, okay, if this didn't go through, that means something better is coming f towards me and I would wait for that. So I'm not tripping. It's kind of like that. And the judgment card is kind of like, how do you react? You know? And you also understand that some of you guys could have played a part in why something is not working out. So say like you can't get a promotion or transfer or you're not getting that raise. You realize, okay, I took too many days off. It's the judgment. You're like thinking about your past actions. You're like, okay, that seems about right. Whatever. You know, do your thing, universe. I, I'm not mad. Okay. And um, also to clarify the judgment for those who are traveling. The full card, for those who are traveling, you may do like a staycation or you may get your money back. Like maybe you do have a refund or something and you may just um, book on a whim, right? Like you may make another... Um, okay, so you know like when you're trying to go on vacation and you're supposed to... Usually, you know, the um, practical thing to do is to book some months ahead at least, right? But say something gets canceled last minute and then you do get your money back. Um, it's kind of like you book on a whim. You're like, I'm not going to let that, you know, stop my shit. So let me just go to Vegas real quick. Or <laughs> let's go to Miami. We're going to Miami. We're going to Florida. You know, like you're just like, I'm going to book something else. I'm not going to let it, you know, rain on my parade. And it works out in the end. Okay. So not bad. So don't stress yourself. And I don't even think you will stress yourself. You're just so well practiced. It's kind of like whatever. All right. Let's get some more messages for you. Why don't we? Why don't we? All right, let's see, let's see. All right, Spirit, give me some more cards for my Tauruses, please. Give me some more cards for my Tauruses. Give me some more cards for my Tauruses. Moving forward, anything significant they need to know about? Anything significant, please? All right, we have Soldier here. So you do have a very serious message coming towards you. Okay, let's see what that's about. Clarify the Soldier. Oh, child. Interesting. Hmm. House. Gift. Hope. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, I could say a lot of things with this. I'm trying to just, I just want to kind of like, you know, consolidate it to one message, but I don't think I can. All right, so some of you guys in the past dealt with someone that you did not know was already in a serious relationship, and you could be getting a message that they're pregnant or that they got someone pregnant and it's kind of like sealing a deal for you that that's really over because i could be an en energy where you really did like this person or love them you wanted to move forward with them you you felt like this person could have been your soulmate or twin flame even so it was kind of hard for you to detach but you're gonna get a like either like a facebook photo you're gonna see or instagram you're gonna see something where someone basically like is starting a family or or extending their family with that person and it's gonna like just kind of um it's really going to um solidify the ending of this situation and but it could still be very painful okay um some of you guys have a very serious person coming towards you like they're they want a serious relationship with you and this is someone that will want to get married down the line move in together and either blend your family if you already have a you know children and they have children or have children with you okay so you do have that coming towards you i'm going to clarify that with tarot again all right tell me about the soldier please tell me about the soldier 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 tell me about the soldier All right, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so there is someone here that you were trying to, like, first scenario here with the Seven of Pentacles. This is someone that you were still holding on to. You do have history with them. You're wondering, okay, maybe we will be able to turn to seven to ten, right? Um, and have a stability and have a family and have a real relationship this time without the third party. But what's going to hurt is that you're going to see that this person has continued to or had a child with someone or continue to extend their family with this person that supposedly they told you that they were going to leave. Okay. And that could be very painful, but it's kind of like, you know, spirit's trying to show you like that wasn't for you. Okay. Also too, some of you guys are going to have someone who is ready with the seven of pentacles. They've have accumulated a lot of stability in their life they feel like okay hmm it's kind of like this person too coming towards you if you would have caught them like a year ago and they may tell this to you Taurus once you guys get to know each other they'll be like yeah a year ago you know I was just you know doing me I, I was playing the game you know like I was out here dating people I was not ready to settle down but now it's like they're so gung-ho about it they feel happy about finding their person and settling down they're in a whole different place and they feel like they have this ability to do that some of you guys too this you could be um married to someone who serves in the military and you could be having a child by this person or they want to have another child but you could be thinking especially if you're the feminine I don't know if I can do that because even though you're not a single parent, it feels like you're a single parent when this person's away, okay? But if that's your situation, I feel like you will choose to with the judgment fool. You will choose to do it. You're like, fuck it. At least I'm married. At least I do have, you know, my husband or my wife. It's not like I'm, you know, you kind of like separate yourself from thinking I'm, I'm a single parent because you're really not. But it could feel that way a lot of times. Um, some of you this person coming towards you, they are really in a very optimistic energy of settling down with you. And whoever this person is from the past, very um, f like with the judgment, with the full card, this person, you're going to learn, you're going to see, you're going to learn the lesson that this person doesn't really care because they've made a lot of decisions in your face that, that has hurt you, things that you would never do to them. So it's time to move forward, okay? Let's do one more, and I'm going to pull who's coming towards you, and then we're going to go to the extended, okay? All right, so let's see. Give me some more messages for my Tauruses. Hopefully, you guys like these type of readings. I like to switch it up, you know, every once in a while, guys, so hopefully you're liking this one. All right, let's see. Anything else significant for a Taurus? Anything else significant for a Taurus? House, okay. Tell me about this house. It keeps coming out. Tell me about the house for you. journey interesting and reunion on the bottom oh shit reunion despair 
falseness, okay? First of all, okay? There is someone that's going to come back towards you and they are very stable. This person could have just bought a house or just settled down closer to you in your community. This could be someone who used to be long um, distance from you, okay? Um, and they could be coming back towards you to establish the connection again and try to take things seriously. Um, this person has caused you a lot of despair or trouble in the past, a lot of sadness. I don't know if you should trust this person because we have falseness here. Right under that, we have faithfulness. So one of you were true to this connection, could have been you, Taurus. And then the other one of you were kind of just doing what you want to do. This person could now be coming to travel towards you. They could be at a distance. You could hear about them buying a home um, either far away. It could be either one. I know y'all like, what the hell? It could either that they bought a house closer to you or they bought a house farther from you. But either way it goes, this person's like think like trying to come back towards you and say either that they would like to things to go forward with you. I don't know how to explain it, okay? If this person moved closer to you, it's like um they're gonna try to say, Oh yes, I do want this relationship now. I have a home now, I you know, I have my car, I'm doing well, I want something with you, okay? Um, even if they bought something farther away, this person may still be trying to keep up a long distance situation. But it's kind of like, I don't really trust you that much. So let's see what that's about. Tell me about this situation, house and journey. Oh, shit. Yeah, someone just made a purchase on a house. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles here. We also have the Ten of Swords here. What else? Six of Pentacles. This is someone, too, who could have been recently divorced with the Ten of Swords or went through a really tough time. So maybe this is why, not that it's, a, it, it's an excuse, this is why this person wasn't treating you that well because with the Ten of Swords, they were going through something that they could have been trying to hide. They did just make a big purchase with the Ten of Pentacles, so they did just buy a house or a condo. They, they definitely have a mortgage of some sort now, right? With the Six of Pentacles, this person now wants to give more to the situation because maybe buying this home or feeling stable makes them feel like they want to share it with somebody or that they just feel happier in their life right now. This person doesn't want you to move on from them for Pentacles, okay? But there is still some very like... With the moon card, there's still some things about this person that's not like straight. Like you still have, you still wonder about this person. You still feel like they have secrets. There's something that's still hidden with this person that you need to figure out before you could open your heart back up to them. You got to be very careful about that. I would just um, say don't make any promises with this person, even if they are coming to reunite with you. Kind of just take your time and let things reveal themselves on their own, okay? All right, so who or what is coming towards my Tauruses in the beginning of December? Who or what is coming towards my Tauruses in the beginning of December? All right, Eight of Pentacles, so a, workahol a workaholic or a hard worker or someone who's like has a business, they're really putting a lot of their effort and time into that to grow it, okay? Or this person, if they work for a company, they really want a raise or a big promotion, so they're putting a lot of their time and effort into the relationship. I mean, sorry, into their career. We have the Seven of Swords, so this could be someone that you don't trust, you feel like this person also gets away with a lot of shit. You let them get away with a lot of shit in the past. We have the sun card. A Leo could be coming towards you. We have someone very positive, very happy coming towards you, okay? So this could be different people. Doesn't have to be the same person. Someone who's in a good space. We have the page of cups coming towards you. So a new lover here. Someone who's open with their emotions. Doesn't have to be a new lover. It could be, you know, your past person here. But someone who wants to openly express something to you. They could miss you. They're going to tell you they think about you a lot. Or um, they're sorry even. We have the chariot here. Definitely someone here who is very, like, career driven. Chariot cancer, okay. But someone who also wants to move forward in this connection with you. Um, regardless of the past. So we have the lovers on the bottom of the deck as well. Gemini energy, soulmate energy. I definitely feel like you guys have new people coming towards you and you have a really good um, 
option for new love. But for those of you who are still wanting to see what's going to happen with the past, that past person is coming back towards you. I'm going to clarify these cards in the um, in the extended for you guys. And we're going to get some last words for this person. We're going to see what's going to happen next, their current feelings for you, the outcome in the beginning of December. I'm also going to get their emojis. Right now, let me get your emojis and we're going to get your last words. All right, so give me some emojis, please, for my Tauruses who are currently watching and dealing with this situation moving forward. All right, let's see. All right, huh. So weird, okay. So I have the rewind button, but it's pointing this way, like down. And remember I said something about someone who's just not on your level, like friends or a, a ex, I don't know, someone who's very jealous. Um, yeah, so this person could be very significant beginning of December. You're going to see a significant change in how this person treats you, okay? They may stop inviting you out places. You're going to see them out, especially if this is a friend. You're going to see them out and about and with y'all mutual friends. And it's like you didn't get an invite. When you may bring it up to them, they're like, oh, I didn't think about it. They thought about it. They thought about not inviting you. Okay, this could be someone who's throwing subliminals your way, like saying little things, okay? Like little stupid things that you know could be targeted towards you. There's someone who's just not on your level and they know it, but you never made it known. But now it may be time to just say, okay, I'm a boss up on you because now you're, you're, you're wanting that, right? There's something about religion here or spirituality. I do feel like someone coming towards you is very religious, could be Jewish energy, um, Christian, um, Mormon. I don't know. There's something about that. Or maybe even like um, Jehovah's Witness. Maybe this is something that you um, have a history with, like strong religious energy. Um, okay, we have a very shocking face here. I don't know what that's about. We have yams here. I don't know what that's about either. Y'all gonna have to figure that out, okay? We also have um, a up, upward arrow. So like you are literally leveling up, world card energy, right? And you can't really like let things hold you back. People who want to treat you differently because you're succeeding, because you have successes coming towards you. They're not true friends. They're not truly there for you. So there's that. Okay, let's go ahead and show you these emojis. All right, last words. I'm going to show you three of your last words plus the bottom of the deck. And then I'm going to show you the rest in your extended, guys. The extended is going to be pretty good, I can tell. All right, so let's see. Last words for my Tauruses dealing with this situation. Oopsie. All right, bottom deck says new love. I told you. I told you you guys have some new love coming in. And it's really good love. But the only thing that makes me a little nervous, right? Because I'm an advocate for new love, especially when past love treated you dirty. But the thing that scares me sometimes when I'm like trying to tell people new love is coming, maybe you want to focus on new love, is that when you have really good people in the cards for new love, sometimes that may not be your type. So that's the only thing I'm nervous about with you guys because your person looks like really good, your new love person. But I feel like some of you guys may not be as open because it may not be your type coming towards you. So you're not sure whether to trust it or not, okay? All right, let's see what should I show you guys. Okay, yes, I wanna show you guys this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So we have traveling soon, which I told you guys, your travel plans may get delayed, but I do see you working it out and doing something on the whim. And I feel like that would be actually positive for you. It doesn't seem like you're making a mistake with that. Okay. We have here manipulator. There is a manipulator coming back towards you. Someone who's used to getting away with things when it comes to you. Okay. And that could be a problem you know you got to protect yourself from someone like that we also have walk away so you definitely have walked away from this person you definitely could be done with their games but when they come back and if they're very convincing and if they are 
Also with the Eight of Pentacles, trying to put a lot of effort into getting you back and coming back with the sun, right? Showing that they're so positive and they're in a good space. It could be a little deceiving sometimes, right? So we're going to talk about this person in extended. Please like this video if you guys did like um, the format of this video and all the messages that I gave out to you guys. I appreciate that a lot because it does help my channel. Make sure you comment down below. Um, comment down below. I also want to know how do my Tauruses, how did you guys get so good at not letting the small stuff bother you or stressing, stress you out? Because that did come out in your reading. Also, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on your next Taurus video. All right. And yeah, I love you guys so much. The links to the extended reading is in the description box down below. First link is if you just want it individually. Second link is if you want all the Taurus extendeds that I do um, on this channel, then you'll go to the Patreon. Third link is joining my channel and that gives you all the extendeds for all Zodiac signs, all the extendeds I do on my channel for a really good price. Um, and that's good for anyone who likes to watch your different placements or they like to watch for other people. So you can check it out. It's well explained in the description box down below. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in extended. All right, bye-bye.